We are continuing our box braids one-on-one -on -one series. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. This is my series for beginners who want to DIY their box braids for the very first time. And today we're gonna talk about whether you need to wash your hair while it's in box braids and also how to treat dry scalp if you suffer from it like me. Let's get right into this video. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you can know anytime I'm posting a new video. Okay y'all, so let's talk about my scalp. If you've watched some other videos of mine, you know that I do suffer from dry, flaky scalp and it's especially prevalent whenever I have protective styles in. So I am gonna show you what my scalp is looking like after three weeks of having these braids in. So these are small, traditional box braids with goddess ends. And I do have a tutorial on this style already. I'll go ahead and link that in the cards above. So as you get closer on my scalp, you'll really be able to see um, my dry scalp and my buildup of flakes. This is a really good example of a braid that has a lot of buildup at the very top. That is not just product buildup, y'all, although product does play a part in it. A lot of that is my dry flaky scalp. It gets really, really bad in the back. So let me go ahead and show y'all that. So I hope y'all are able to see that in the back of my head, y'all. It gets crazy with the dandruff, especially in some of these back braids over here. So because of that, I am gonna go ahead and wash my hair in these box braids. So I don't know about y'all, but I do like to um, watch those videos. People be scratching their scalp on YouTube. I don't wanna become one of those people, but I am gonna go ahead and take my edge brush really quickly and just see if there's anything that I can rake up right now. So when I wash my hair, it comes all the way out. Again, that is not just product. Okay, y'all, so now that you've seen my scalp and what I'm working with as far as my dry skin, my flakes, now I'm gonna take you in the bathroom so we can try to get rid of this by washing our hair in box braids. Let's go ahead. Okay, y'all, we are now in my bathroom, so I apologize if the acoustics change, but we're gonna go ahead and wash my hair. I am gonna just focus on my scalp. So I actually purchased some products from Head & Shoulders, and this is their Royal Oils collection. So this collection is supposed to be specific to black hair and maybe even natural hair. Um, I'm not sure, but I know it's definitely for black people. Head & Shoulders is like the standard brand to go to whenever you're experiencing dandruff or dry, flaky scalp. I'm going to use the Head & Shoulders shampoo, and it says it should give me that scalp relief that I'm looking for. So normally I would follow up with this conditioner, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. And then I also bought the Royal Oils Instant Soothe Scalp Elixir. So I'm supposed to be able to use this in between washes to kind of give me that scalp relief. So let me go ahead and get my hair in the sink right quick and then we can get started. Okay, so my scalp is wet. Emphasis on scalp, I did not wet the entirety of my braids because I'm not trying to wait for braids to dry. Let's go ahead and go in with our Moisture Boost Shampoo. It is wet. Let's go ahead. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if my hair is wet enough to like give me a good lather. So I'm gonna go get a spray bottle to help me out. So now I'm going specifically into each one of those braids and I'm trying to loosen up any of that gunk that was at the very top. So this is what the lathering properties of that shampoo look like. And I know that because I just put a little bit of shampoo in my hands and then wet them. So I'm not getting the full benefit of the lather right now, I am aware. y'all so I went ahead and washed my hair wrapped it up and let's go ahead and take this down so let me go ahead and show you what my scalp is looking like after being washed hopefully we got most of that flakage out of the way 
it looks like it definitely looks like i got a lot of that gunk off of my scalp which is super super good which also help with it just not itching me so much i am going to take this instant soothe scalp elixir and i'm going to spray this on my scalp this is what it looks like Okay y'all, so those are my braids. I'm not gonna just leave my hair like this. I'm actually gonna go through my box braid maintenance routine. I have a video about how I maintain my box braids for an entire month. I'll go ahead and link that above. And it's also in my box braids 101 playlist. And let me go ahead and talk to you about why I decided to wash my hair in box braids in the first place. Cause I know that's not super common for people. I'm of the mindset that your hair absolutely needs consistent moisture. So the only way you can really get that consistent moisture in your hair is by using water the only way you really get water in your hair is by washing it so i really try to wash my hair regardless of whether it's in protective styles or not when my hair is out when i'm not wearing it in protective style i wash it every single week so i know that when i put it in the protective style even though i'm trying to keep it looking cute i know that i still need to wash my hair that's why i really don't wear my hair in braids for like super long time usually keep it in for about a month and then i switch it up if your hair is super dry when it comes out of your protective styles i would consider changing up your moisture routine and maybe switching up how often you wash your hair because there's no point of protecting protecting super dry damaged hair like what are you protecting me from? That is all that I have for y'all. I will go ahead and check in with you on my community tab to let you know how my scalp is doing, whether I get super bad dandruff within the next couple of weeks or however long I plan to wear my hair because I might be taking this out pretty soon. I will go ahead and check in with you there. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You also have your post notifications on so you can see when I'm actually posting on the community tab. Make sure you're also following me on Instagram at jchanelli. I hope you're enjoying this series of just box sprays for beginners, box sprays 101. Every time I do a set of braids, I'm gonna come and add to this installment because I really want to make this process super simple for y'all and I wanna be as helpful as I can. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.